black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hey, oh. Daylight come and me want to go home. Yeah, day. Oh. Easy, pal. Jesus. Gazer, gazer. <laughs> Anybody else watch Soul Illuminati? Spiritual Soul. This sun is for real right now, super for real. I'm so blinded. Yo, what is up? What is good with y'all? As you can tell, we are back cruising in the Schwip. I'm out doing some AA runs and uh, I'm hungry and ready to grub. It is four o'clock in the afternoon. The sun dips here now at about 5.30. So that's mega depressed, but hey, that's winter in Canuckland. Um, yeah, usually the early, I guess the earliest it ever dips is almost like 4.30, 5 o'clock. So it gets real, real hard to keep your spirits bright uh, in the winter time here. And, you know, it doesn't get, uh, you know, light until, you know, uh, 8, 8.30 in the morning. So it's a lot of hours of dark, 16 hours of dark, pretty much. So she's tough. Anyways, sun's gonna dip here pretty soon. And the other day I put the poll up asking where I should go. I included Chinese in the options. You guys said try a local spot that you never tried. So I did, it was all right. It wasn't anything amazing. Uh, I low key, when I put that poll up, was craving Chinese and was hoping you guys would say Chinese. <laughs> wasn't the case, but now I'm gonna fulfill my crave prophecy today and that's some Chinese. Now, I'm not craving anything too nuts. I just want some bubbly, crispy Vietnamese spring rolls, AKA lit cigs. I've been craving some lit cigs, so sweet and sour sauce with those. And I just want one styrofoam, you know, football length size container full of chicken lo mein with some vegetable. I just want some noodles and those two crispy delicious spring rolls that's all i'm feeding right now i just want to have like a very simple chinese food meal so we're about to pull up i'm gonna order for takeout hop back in the truck and we're gonna have a little smash together i have no idea what i'm gonna yammer on about today but i'm sure there'll be something because there always is okay let's do it Bag secure, baby. Off to find a stealth eating location. All right, y'all, we have landed in an appropriate spot. I think I've got the sun and the shadows down. So what did this come to? 2486 for noodles and some spring rolls. It is hefty though, very, very heavy. So I got to crack a sack. Hmm, damn, she's smelling so good. Styrofoam container ASMR. That's a good look that they wrap it up in this plastic sack because you know, sometimes there's like some pretty watery spillover from these things. So that's a very uh, appreciated move by this spot here. Mm. That rubber band for extra safety. And let's pop it, you guys get the first look. I have no idea what she's gonna look like. There's the steam rising. What does it look like? You guys tell me, okay. Like your standard football size thing of noodles, exactly like I said, with chicken and all the fixings. They are stacked up nice and high, breaching over the edge. Man, that's heavy. Also, you guys know, I got the cigs. Hey, look at that. The crispy, bubbly Vietnamese spring rolls. Super piping hot. Beautiful. Beautiful, just beautiful, really. And what would one of those be without some Sig Lighten sweet and sour sauce? Come on now, there it is. You gotta have it. Come on down, see what we're truly working with though. Up close and purse for you. It's exactly what my crave was. Nothing less, nothing more. Ooh, look how good that is. I cannot wait to get into that. And last, but certainly not least of the party, a nice, fresh, cold Diet Dr. P. So let's wet the appetite real quick. Very good. Crack open these chopperoos, making it as difficult as I can on myself, but 
I like to eat it authentic, right? I do like to have my noodles with chopsticks. It just makes the experience that much more enjoyable, I feel like. All right, y'all, first things first, we always start off these videos with a lit sig, right? You know that. Piping hot. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. <laughs> Man. Wow. I did not know how bad I needed that. That's a hitting a different, different zone of crave. Mm. That's crazy. When you get them right here on the spot. Sorry, I'm depriving you of the golden dip. It's just shimmering in this evening sun it's so nice out today it was like 10 degrees for the last little while it's been below zero so to have this day is nice the week's looking good too man i'm blessing out When it is exactly what was on your crave. And it's hitting 10 out of 10 in terms of, you know, whoever made it. That's what's up. I've had this spot a few times. It actually made me change from my original favorite. And they're pretty much across the street from each other. So I'm sure there's some sort of a crazy rivalry there. But this place has been consistently better than the original one that I used to go to. The OG one is called Mr. Chinese. This one's called Asian. <laughs> A little soy sauce. I don't know about you, but I like extra sodium and extra flavor. There we go. Ooh, nice, that bok choy is coming out, beauty. Oh, I'm so excited for some bok choy. I love bok choy. Mm. Man, this thing is hefty. legit this weighs as much as like a baby i swear mm. super hot very delicious It was popping in there. Many bags for pickup. The lady in front of me, her tab was a hundred and sixty seven fifty. I was like, damn lady, like that's a feast. She definitely got the family pack. Mm. 
get rid of that ASMR flap. I absolutely love sauteed broccoli. Difficult vehicle meal. Can't lie, but wanted it. This thing remains <clears throat> piping hot. So I'm currently outside of like the backside of a a bar. It's not a bar anymore, but that I told you a fight story from. A little while back, probably, I don't know, two years ago now. Story about I was at a party talking to a dude about him fighting a guy out the ski hill. And then he ambushed me in this bar, put me in a chokehold and uh, got his buddy to sucker punch me. Ran off in the crowd. I remember the video now, I was eating a huge cheese pizza and I was wearing a green hoodie. If you haven't, see, if you haven't seen that video, if you haven't seen that tale, you can go watch that. From 2018. It's crazy that I just got warped back to that exact video now that I remember, that's crazy. Pretty sure I was hung over too. But yeah, I'm out back of that. It's no longer a bar anymore, but it used to be called Scuttlebutt. A lot of weird times here. Uh, actually, the place where I pretty much locked in my first real long term, semi long term re relationship. A story I've never told. Maybe tell that sometime to you guys. Right now it doesn't seem fitting. Am I getting rolled up on? No. It was definitely one of the more popping bars though. And they always sold Italian sausages outside of it. You walk out just completely trashed. Before you hop in the cab, get yourself a uh, street meat. I think it was like three bucks, four bucks. For a nice Italian sausage. Instead of spending 35 waiting in the McDonald's drive-thru. I would love to know how much money I've spent on drunk McDonald's on excessive cab fares, waiting in drunk ass, drive through McDonald's lines.
I know it's got to be a lot. This is so hot still. And it's like... I'm grubbing on it. And it's not even changing. Like, it's still the same amount of food. It's insane. I pack it in here. There's three girls coming down a back alleyway right now doing a choreographed dance. And they're also looking at me like I'm a sketch bag. And hey, I probably am. Sitting alone in a truck, parked very far in a parking lot, talking to myself. I'd say to the average passerby, that seems sketchy. Okay, before I get too full off that, I can't truly enjoy my second SIG. I gotta get this down. Mm -hmm. Cause that's the hitter right there. I know aspartame and diet pop in general has always had a little bit of a funky taste, but I swear something's changed since this whole shit happened in the world. When Diet Dr. Pepper and things like that kind of went missing for a while. They showed back up. And something's off. They do not taste how they used to. The chemically... aspartame type flavor is much more present, pronounced just stronger, different, weird it lingers I really don't like it it's freaking me out Oh, I'm hot. Really hot. Is that just a me thing? Or is that like an everybody thing? But really like physically hot food. Noodles, soups. You find that they... They fill you up faster and it's like a fake full. It's like, it's a really fast full because it's hot. And then 20, 30 minutes goes by. And you're like, oh, I'm totally ready to eat the rest of that now. Or like I could eat again. I feel like soup is a major offender of that with me. I'll eat just like one regular bowl of soup and by the end of it, I'm like, damn, I'm full off a bowl of soup. But. Twenty minutes later, it's game on again. Grub time.
That's the case right now. I gotta put that away. Let's go ahead and find out a fortune. I do love a good fortune cookie, I'll tell you, say that. They're very cool, I love the texture. You have a great appreciation for beautiful things. Yes, I do. I certainly do. All my beautiful subscribers. I appreciate you. I really do. <sighs> All right, that's going to wrap that one here. Like I said, full of hot things. I'm sure I'll finish that probably in by the time I'll get home, I'll eat the rest. Those uh, spring rolls, though, were way too good. Hit me so hard in the crave. Hope you guys can enjoy that one. Until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, and stay true.